So, hello everyone and welcome back to Hebeldale Model Railway. Um, today I'm going to give you a little review of the HM6000 that I got for Father's Day. Um, not going to talk you through absolutely everything about it, but what I was thinking I would do is just show you the simple steps and how to set it up. Um, so ensure that the unit is actually plugged in. And then unfortunately I don't have an iPad so it's going to be onto my phone so I hope it's kind of clear for you guys. Um, but then what you do is you go into device provisioning and then you start scan. So ensuring that your Bluetooth is on, what you would then do is when you see the HM6000 unit just at the bottom here, you then select it and then it automatically connects. Then you go on to device connectivity and then connect all. So once you're all connected, what I did find was quite a useful thing to do is if you go onto edit devices and then tap onto that, you could then change the image of the HM6000. So you could maybe have a picture of a train or something like that or anything of your choice. And then you can also um, change the pictures of your circuit. So if you were maybe having a heritage line on one circuit and then you've got your main line on here, you might just want to take a little picture of that, just as a little kind of reference. Um, no preference as to what you've got to put in there, just something that I might think of in the future. Um, then going on to here, so you do have a um, track builder. Um, I'm yet to upload mine. Then going on to the circuits, so if you just press the setup button, you've got circuit 1, so you can do your minimum and maximum speed range from 0 to 100. I've just left this on the default settings for now, I probably will have a little bit of a play around with it in the future. Um, you have your acceleration and deacceleration, and also here you have your sound profiles. Um, and then exactly the same for circuit 2, so minimum and maximum speed, acceleration, deacceleration, and then your sound profiles. So these are the main circuits here, so circuit one and circuit two. I have actually set them up, so it's um, something that I didn't have before, I could only just do the one. Um, this was the control that I was using. They love the old Hornby. I read the reviews for these and they were supposed to be awful, but it was very, very cheap. Um, and I didn't have anything else, so I just got one of these off of eBay um, just to sort of get myself started. So this is quite a lightweight unit. Really good, just plugs into the mains. Uh, on the back, a couple of little screw holes, so what I do intend to do in the future is actually just have it fixed into the side, so I'll have my baseboard here and then the unit will just go on there. Um, it's quite stylish, quite compact, um, very lightweight. Um, seems quite flimsy, but you know it does the job. So whereas before on my old unit, um, just to get my trains running around, um, nothing would actually really kick in till about here on this controller. Um, and then to get any sort of my older locos, I had to make sure that it was always turned up to the maximum speed. Um, looking now at the HM6000, um, I'm running my trains on an average of about 25 to 30. Um, so I think that the ampage output, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but seems to flow through the track a lot better. Um, I've had a lot less sort of jumpy trains running around, everything seems to be a little bit smoother. Um, and I'm still yet to kind of play around with like the speeds and the acceleration and deacceleration. Um, so yeah, I would give it a big thumbs up. Um, I don't really know of many other controllers, but as an advance into um, the DC world, um, it seems pretty good. It's a nice bit of technology and most people are using mobile phones and stuff now. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anyone. the moment that's what I'm going to be focusing on is DC. Um, I don't really plan to go into DCC until I get more of a permanent layout. Um, but this is really good so anybody that is sort of starting out, um, I think it's great and the fact that it uses Bluetooth 
uh, rather than a Wi-Fi connection is great. Um, just make sure that you um, turn your phone lock off um, or to a 10, 15 minutes if you wish, um, just because what, as soon as it, the screen does close, um, it switches off and cuts all power. So this is probably not bound to work because it's on camera and um, it's been working off camera absolutely fine. Uh, but here it goes, so uh, I'm going to add in about 25 or so on the first circuit. I um, do wish it was on an iPad so I could show you a little bit better. And it's quite sensitive as well. And then we're going on to circuit 2, we're going to add that up to about 30, 33 just because it's a slightly older loco. But as you can see, not giving it full beams, um, and they seem to be running around very smoothly. Um, really nice to have two locos running around at once. So you may notice in the background, I've added in a little bit more of the vaccine another part of the layout update. Um, but the main part was to try and get this second loop in. Um, and as you can see, it seems to be running a lot smoother even though my track is still not 100%. Um, so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, my logo still do need a little bit of service and stuff. Um, it's so great to have uh, a couple of things running around at once. It feels more like a layout now. Um, I'll just pan you around. Um, still got a lot of work to do with sort of organising the track a little bit more. Um, there's a few lumps and bumps in the back wall, my front being straight. Um, still haven't made much progress on the hills and stuff there at the back. Um, all along here though, that's where the station will actually be. Um, and then panning around into the corner. Um, so I've added in a couple of new points. out some of the creases and stuff at the back there um, where it was very very jumpy before and um, I hope you agree it's starting to look a little bit better it does actually like I said before it feels like a bit of a layout now I'm really chuffed with it I can actually sort of do some scenic work so my trains can run around happily um, without any sort of derailments or it being jumpy and having to keep pushing them every five minutes. Um, so yeah, the next part will be to maybe get some forefrontal track and level that all up if it does run a little bit smoother. Um, but I'm really happy. Um, I kind of think that that vaccine sets it off a little bit as well. Um, you guys are not just seeing any brick wall at the back. So thank you everyone for joining me um, on another little update. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of music and some shots of the train going past. And hope everyone's keeping well and speak to you all soon. Bye for now.